Hey, Scorpio. If you haven't noticed, this is a reading for the sign of Scorpio. By yours truly, Scorpio Spy. Hope you guys are doing well. I've missed you. All right. Let's see how we can assist. Scorpio, please. Where could Scorpio use some insight for approximately the next two weeks? Bottom of the deck, firm foundation. Ooh. So whatever we're looking at here, Scorpio, has to do with your stability and where you feel the most secure and also building things from the ground up, more stable and solid things that will most likely last because of the efforts that you've put in to build from the ground up. So the foundation there, okay? Material harvest and love begins. I see what this is. Okay. So, you know what this is, Scorpio? It feels like there's a situation that's caused you to kind of stand on your own here. And I feel like Scorpio's been in this energy for quite some time. It has to do with a lot with your independence and being happy where you are. But at the same time, you have certain things coming in and it looks like love. We do have this love begins card, okay? I also feel like though, because we do have a three of cups type energy right next to it, like rejoice and celebration, you kind of have to make a decision here. Some of you, there could be multiple ways you can go about this. Do I maintain my independence or do I come into union with somebody? Because you're, you're trying to figure out where you feel the most secure, what is most stable for you at this time. And you've been so self-reliant here. And now we're kind of like, here's a cup of love. What do you want to do with it? Okay, that is what's coming here. And these are kind of the beginning stages. Um, I do feel like you reap what you sow and because of all the work that you've put in here on your own prior to this, now you're being sent some sort of blessing or something that you've manifested, something you've been waiting for, hoping for, wishing for. It's just a matter of what are you going to do with this? Okay, Scorpio, definitely you're in some kind of secure energy on your own. I also see some parties here. I mean, it is holidays, but parties, hanging out with friends, people that you enjoy their company. Okay, see, I'm telling you, these are all beautiful cards coming out. But like I said, it feels like you have to make this decision between yourself and someone else. And for a very select few of you, it could very well be more complicated. Perhaps you have multiple cups of love or multiple people. Okay, um, we do have the mental conflict card here. And the solar plexus chakra has to do with yourself. So this is definitely confirming all of the independent type of energy. But the thing is, you're trying to figure what aligns best with where you are right now. And how can you have your stability and at the same time experience things? It feels like you're needing to make a sacrifice or that you don't want to put yourself on the line here. Which makes sense because of how far you've come. And I feel like you don't want to jeopardize that because your sense of self-worth is in question, but you're also in your power here. So I feel like you don't want to lose or, yeah, lose some sort of sense of self as well as your stability. Is it feeling compromised? Is it is it being compromised for you, Scorpio? That's what I'm seeing here. You are in your power. You have the strength card energy as well. So that is a gorgeous sign here. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right. So someone is suffering in silence while you're standing in your power here and they're wanting to come in and fix things or triumph over any type of negativity, any disruptions that have happened here. It seems like you've had a tower right previous to this. So something has been shaken up and it also feels like you're not allowing someone to come in because like I said, your, your whole energy is 
about yourself. It feels like you're good where you are. You feel good where you are. You want to be feeling good where you are. I do feel like, though, you do at times feel like you're being, I don't know, left out. Or there's something off in the horizon that you're waiting to come in for you. Something better, something stronger. This is what it seems like your hope is, your desire is. Okay. Balance. Okay. So I'm also seeing... Um, Wow. So there's a connection here coming in here, guys. And the thing is about this, you have an extremely strong connection to somebody or that they do to you almost to the point of um, obsessing. We do have this temptation card. That's a devil card energy, right? Um, it feels like, guys, one minute it can be lovey-dovey and the next minute it can be bad. It's almost like the light and the dark side here. And we're trying to navigate through this i feel like a problem has been made aware to you and or someone else here it feels like there's some sort of uh envy there could be some jealousy or deception going on and that's affecting you building this foundation with somebody oh yep exactly because there's a choice to be made and like i said we've been talking about this choice what are you choosing are you choosing yourself are you compromising yourself and that's what you will not um what's the word you're not going to stand for compromising yourself here. So this is good, but let's see. How can we assist Scorpio further? Someone is here, Scorpio. Someone is definitely here. You're getting very extremely strong cards yourself here okay you are feeling stable we have the higher thought energy here you're feeling stable or you're seeking that you want to know where you're investing okay all right so we have some fears involved that makes sense because of the amount of it feels like um, the amount of effort that you've put in here, it's making you second question or second guess or wanting to make absolutely sure this is what you need, this is what you want. I also feel like some of you are trapped in your head. It could be those kinds of fears that you're kind of working yourself up over. And you don't have that peace of mind here. There could also be some sort of trust situation at the same time, you may be kind of trapped to a past idea as well. The way that you see relationships or the way that you see your life panning out. And this could be opposite or different than what you're used to. So it's almost like you don't know if you should trust it and your discretion even. So we have a lot of mental energy here for you. And until this is sorted out, Scorpio, I don't see you um, being able to move forward peacefully. So I feel like you you might be taking a time out or you have to sort through your thoughts and your fears. There's some sort of fear that's coming up here for you, Scorpio. Okay. It's normal. <laughs> All right. All right. See? So the Nine of Pentacles is definitely that energy of someone who is happy on their own. So you feel like you don't need anything. You don't need anyone. Maybe you want someone. Maybe you want someone that can complement your lifestyle that you've built this far. But you're finding yourself secure and stable where you are. But you have someone here who wants to come in and offer that and more to you. They're feeling very strong as well. This is someone who's coming in as an emperor. This is a very um, strong, masculine type of energy, whether or not it's male or female. It could be you as well or the other person. But someone here is trying to come in and they're admiring your independence, actually. That's what's attractive about you here. They really want to go. They want to have some sort of control over this or to be able to guide this in the way that they want. And you, Scorpio, are showing up a little more obstinate. It's kind of like, you know what? Um, if it doesn't match my values, my morals, I'm good where I am. And thank you. But no thanks at the same time. Okay. But this is what's actually making you very attractive. 
All right. So here's the thing. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they know that you're in that mental mind prison here with that Eight of Swords energy. I also feel like, here's a side note here, okay? I also feel like there's some sort of fear that you have about the mundane. Does that make sense? It's almost like you don't want to get yourself into something that's going to be, ooh, half-assed or kind of, Oh, I feel like, okay, I want to say this word, but I don't know if that's proper. It feels like you don't want to be bored or tied up in something that is, like, you may feel like there's something better, okay? Okay, here's the word, settling. <laughs> because of this higher bond energy. So you want to make absolute sure, and this is a side note, this is not everybody. And it's also about you living, like, an ordinary life. I feel like you don't want that. It's almost like, um, I want more, I want more, I want more, because you have everything that you have. I mean, it makes sense. You want someone to compliment. You want someone to be able to add to your life and your lifestyle, not to make you stay where you are or feeling stagnant here, okay? That could be also what's coming up for some of you. Some of you. I do see that whoever you're dealing with that really wants to come in, they want things to change. They want things to turn around. They also do know your state of mind. I feel like they know where you're at mentally. And they're watching and they're waiting. And they're also waiting for you to get out of that thought pattern or to stop putting this on hold to see what can happen next. This is someone who feels like usually they're largely in control of their destiny, of what's going on with them. But you're the person here, Scorpio, putting them on ice or kind of making them feel like I can't have this the way I normally do. So it's a bit of a challenge in a sense. Does that make sense to you? So the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Cups. I do feel like one second here. Mm hmm see and you're showing up as an empress as well we do have the emperor and the empress here someone who is trying to come in for you scorpio it feels like some of you are just really happy with where you are or have been you also have dreams and aspirations for more like we've said scorpio are you wanting to walk away it feels like feels like you don't want to compromise your position for this and this is someone who means business though okay it's almost like you're considering leaving this there's some sort of baggage that someone could be bringing in okay it feels like this okay so whoever this is is showing up with a with the emperor i'm seeing you as the empress because you came with the nine of pentacles um and do you see how this Ten of Wands is kind of having that baggage or all that stress or all those burdens and showing it to the Empress? And the Empress is like, okay, like, what do you want me to do about that? So it feels like to me, someone could be showing you, they're bearing themselves to you. They're kind of like, this is what I come with. And this is also what I offer, but this is what I come with. Okay. And there's some sort of past energy here, possibly hasn't been dealt with or hasn't been fully navigated out of. And you're sitting here looking at it like, okay, so what are you going to do about it? Like, why are you coming to me with this? You're someone who makes this person feel safe. You're someone who makes this person feel um, like they're able to be vulnerable here. But at the same time, they're showing you some not so pretty things, okay? This is kind of making you consider, do I just leave? Like, these are not my burdens to carry. I'm the empress. Does that make sense? Keep in mind, these readings can be vice versa here. Some of you have been dealing with a cancer who you've left some sort of fulfilling situation with or that they have. There, this could be a consideration as well, whether or not to leave something. But it seems as though you guys will return eventually. If you guys are dealing with a Libra or a Taurus here, you're needing to figure out um, something about distance or travel, whether or not you're moving, packing up. 
And also there's some sort of plan here to deal with certain burdens in that sense. If you're dealing with an Aries, they have a cup of love for you. Yes, they do. If you're dealing with a Pisces, there's some sort of competition involved, but they're still watching you and they want to do something about it. They want to try. They want to try again or something like that. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, ooh, you guys have some talking to do and some patience to be had about what's what you guys are going to do. There's a lot of feelings here, but there's also some sort of drama or conflict. We need a resolution there. All right, that's all who's showing up. So let's see some sort of outcome for you, Scorpio, or any advice we can give. Thank you to the loyal spies who have sent in most of the decks I'm using here today. You can find them in the description box. Love you so very much. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I read your comments, guys, all the time. Okay. You are coming out with this hangman energy. Okay, here we go. I'm seeing it. You're coming out with this hangman energy. We also have the devil card, which I did see under the deck prior to this. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands. Hold on one second. Okay. Scorpio, it looks like you're going to be taking a break here from someone. Um, it could be a short one is what I'm seeing because you have fast moving energy right after that. It feels like you just need a minute because you've been made aware of a problem and it's some sort of attachment here. You don't want to bring that problem into the future. So what you're doing is doing some seeking. You could also be trying to exit out of another situation in order to clear the path for the future in the first place. But it feels like you're trying to understand completely and fully where your path is headed. And there's a lot of this that has to do with perspective and inner guidance, inner wisdom, as well as your spiritual path, guys. There's a lot of spiritual energy here. Open up to your guides would be some advice with that. I feel like what's going on here is you really want this to kind of go the distance, but because you're not understanding how to move forward here at this point in time, that's why you withdraw because of whatever has been made aware here that problem that we're talking about and fears. I feel like whenever fears come up here between you and or this person, it makes some sort of, well, it's a bad feeling. And so you kind of withdraw. I do see some sort of withdraw. Well, what about after? After that, you have, yeah, like I said, there's lots of movement. Some of you may very well get into union with somebody. Wow. It feels like this is fast, rushed, very quick. Lots of communication. Someone's going to come in and say, hey, let's be together. This is the marriage card, the four of wands. Whether or not you get married, it just means coming into union. And they're going to say, hey, this is what I want. Come in or I'm coming into you, you still have some apprehension about that, but definitely some clear communication. Whoever this is wants it quick, and I feel like it's that emperor energy that came up, okay? Seems like you're asking for some time here, Scorpio, or mm, it seems like you need it, all right? Just a little bit, just a little bit. What else, what else, what else? You guys have a lot of passion here as well, yeah. I mean, it's up to you. You kind of withdraw and this is going to come right back in. So, or it's a new situation, but I'm feeling like it's, it's whoever showed up back there. Okay. Um, and like I said, others of you are leaving one situation and moving in a completely new direction, whether that's with another person or just with that same person. I feel like it's a different energy from what you're leaving. Okay, all right, so let's wrap this up here with some goddess cards for Scorpio. Advice guidance. Yep, 
communication i told you all that communication is going to come in it's going to flow i'm feeling like it's like floodgates you open the floodgates everything is going to come on out here i feel like there could be some tears shed here as well as what i'm seeing but they're healing tears they're tears of healing especially with that flow energy okay um it feels like you have a lot of communication and fast moving energy coming in it's like you almost may not have too much time to think with this but you're going to be feeling through this you or someone else as well okay this is you needing to have some sort of goal or ambition for your future it feels like also you're moving in the direction to actually have that clarity with this communication that comes in which we're talking about we do see it through your wands here oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so someone wants devotion you're also devoted to yourself, Scorpio. Whatever this is, there has to be some sort of compromise, I feel. Or you're going to be talking about one. And how you can have what's right for you as well as what's right for whoever you're dealing with or whatever you're um, entering with somebody. Because you're devoted to your independence here. Death and magic. But it's changing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, there's going to be a revelation. You're going to have major feelings coming out here. And you're going to be able to set your focus moving forward, okay? I feel like that is exactly where you need to be with your home energy, though. That's definitely... Hold on. What else is here? Yeah, you may need time for healing. The past is an illusion. There's not clarity about the past here, but it's affecting the current state. Because that someone has not healed. It might be that Ten of Wands energy, the burdens and the baggage. That's affecting your union here. Whether that's you or the other person. You could be dragging in other people into this new thing here. Or like a renewal of something, right? And that needs to be dealt with as well. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. And you come out with a death and magic card. Love it. I love it so much. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I hope it was helpful at any way possible in the world. And remember, comment. I read your comments and I comment too. Yeah. And I love you guys. Hit the like if you like it. And I love you. Hope to see you next time. Kisses. Bye.